This is a skincare video. So to begin, I know that a lot of you guys are waiting for a product list or just to see me do it and those will be included in this video um, farther down the line. But I did want to start with what I actually think is the most important part of skincare. So we're going to get into what we put into our bodies. That is, in my opinion, the most important part of skincare. Before you spend money on brands that may or may not work, before you spend an extra amount of time morning, afternoon, and night doing creams and masks, those are good. A lot of them do work, but before you do that, make sure that what you're putting in is something that you would wanna see come out. Because at the end of the day, that's exactly what happens. So. Stick with me really quickly while I go through just a couple aspects of how we put into our bodies really, really and truly affects our skin. So just to give y'all a little bit of background on me, I am not really allergic to but intolerant to both soy and peanut products. So for me, the times when I see the most pop-ups, the times when I see any kind of even discoloration or things, or even if it's just itching of the skin um, without any like outward, you know, like flaws, it's because I've recently been eating a large quantity of either soy or peanuts and it comes through on my skin. The same way that if you were having a really bad allergic reaction, it would come through in the form of a rash or something else. Your body will always react to what you put into it, whether it be external or internal in terms of the reaction. So there are a couple of really common allergens. We're talking about soy, which, you know, I mean, of course, <laughs> peanuts, any type of nuts, even hazelnuts. Sometimes people are allergic to almonds, even if it's just the skin of the almonds. A lot of people are allergic to citrus or dairy. A lot of people are lactose intolerant, even me, just like a little bit. And dairy, for a lot of us, especially Americans, um, dairy is an integral part of our diet. A lot of people, um, even if they're not big on like cheese, they have milk with their cereal in the morning. They have milk in their coffee. They have so many different, there are so many different types of dairy that we intake all the time. It could just be a sandwich that you're eating and you don't even realize that it's filled with mayo, maybe an egg and cheese. So yes, be very careful. If you have the time, if you have even a couple of days to spare um, from some of your favorite foods, try and stop eating something for a while that you think, you know, okay, you know, one major telltale sign of something that's bothering your skin is actually what bothers your stomach. So a lot of people, their first indication is that they're, for example, lactose intolerant is their stomach hurts. You know, they have to use the bathroom a lot when they drink milk or when they have a dairy product or, you know, they get really constipated. So most things that are affecting your stomach like that harshly are gonna affect your skin and what comes out of your body. So keep that in mind. This is just the first part of the skincare video. I just wanna put it out as a disclaimer before I try and give y'all the products that I use. Make sure you're taking care of your insides because even though it can be hard sometimes, it will greatly affect your water intake. Your water intake. I know I'm moving kind of fast and this one for me is actually something that I struggle with every single day. Anybody who knows me knows I struggle with it day in and day out but drink your water. Because for me, for example, like I said, I'm not really allergic to, but I am intolerant to peanuts and soy. However, based on the amount of water that I'm drinking, a purifying substance, even if I am eating a little, you know, peanut product here, a little peanut butter and jelly sandwich here, a little, you know, tofu dish here, it's not going to affect me as much because it is a little bit more diluted than if I wasn't getting enough water intake. So. Eat healthy, watch what you put into your body, and make sure you're putting into your body a lot of H2O. And I promise you will see results in your skin. Every person's skin is different. What bothers somebody might only bother you, you know, minorly. What bothers somebody a lot might only bother, might bother you a lot as well. So make sure that you're testing different things out for yourself. It is a process, but it is well worth it. 
Now onto my skincare products. I actually only use four on a consistent basis. I try things all the time. Um, my skin reacts to things all the time. I am constantly trying to renew my skincare process because it's something that interests me and that I love a lot. However, I always come back to three or four of these main products. So I'm just gonna go over them with you and then I'm gonna show you guys how I would use them to take off my makeup right now. So I'm going to start with actually my makeup remover wipes. This package is looking real used and abused. And honestly, that is simply because it is. I use it nearly every day or at least two times a week to take off my makeup at night. And even sometimes if I don't have on makeup but I feel like my face is caked in like a lot of dust or dirt from whatever I was doing that day, a makeup wipe is a good cleanser just to like, you know, get you prepared to actually cleanse your skin with uh, detoxifying something or what I'm going to go through next. So once again, make sure you have a really good makeup wipe. I like the Aveeno ones. I've been using them for about four years because they're actually ultra calming. So even if you do have sensitive skin or your skin is pretty dry, these are gonna help to pre-moisturize before you strip away everything that was on your skin um, with a cleanser. And it's also going to make sure that you don't have any pop-ups from your makeup wipes. The second thing I go in with after a long day is an actual cleanser. And I actually am going to be showing you guys two products from this brand and I will of course be linking and describing everything in the description box so you guys can head there. There will even be some links that you can copy and paste to exact places to buy these from um, with of course the exact names. But yes, Artistry Advanced Creamy Foam Cleanser. I use this every single day. This I use whether or not I have worn makeup because it genuinely just cleans away your sweat from the day, your dirt from the day, and things that have gotten into your pores. So this cleanser, once again, I'm gonna show you how to use everything, is an amazing way to just end out your day and it feels really good. So next, I go in with my third product, and this one I only actually do three times a week, so I don't do this every single day. I really don't even know if you're supposed to, but once again, I'm just showing the information that I have and the information that I implement, and it is a toner. This is actually a brand new bottle of it, and this is from NOLA Skincare, Skin Essentials, yes. Um, I promoted them on my Instagram. You guys can go check out what I think about them there, as well as their Instagram is linked through mine. Um, so yeah, this brand is vegan. We like those. So this is a pure, you know, a pure, as you can see, first of all, the packaging, it's so chic. You have a little, you know, violet, a little purple. I don't know, I love cute packaging. So this is definitely a plus for this business, for this brand. So yeah, um, I use this toner once again, three to four times a week after I've been cleansing just, you know, Keep my skincare, my skin tone. And last but not least in my skincare routine, I have my love, my favorite skincare product to date right now is the Artistry Replenishing Moisture Cream. As you can see, this container looks a little used and abused because it is. It is also like my third and fourth container in less than a couple months. <laughs> So, cause I use it every morning, every night, and sometimes even in between the day if I'm not wearing makeup and I wanna keep up my replenished look, that actually might be overusing, but it's none of their business. So, once again, artistry, I'm going to put everything in the description box. This cream is honestly the most replenishing, like moisture cream I've ever had. I actually have used a lot of replenishing creams, a lot of moisturizers, because it's probably my favorite skincare. Like, part of skincare is moisturizing, but, I have a couple favorites, but this one, this one, to say it's it would be an understatement. Oh, I'm not even mad. So, geez, let's get into how I actually use and implement each one of these products. So, um, I went ahead and I tied my hair back, which is super important if you don't want to get your style that you currently have wet. Um, as well as I took out any earrings or anything else that I had on my face that was extra. Um, this is super like important to remember. I feel like it's common knowledge, but just, you know, your nightly or morning reminder, especially if you do um, anything to your hair that has to do with your edges. So if you lay your edges or if you curl them up, keep in mind that those edges are still laid on your facial skin. So make sure to clean those spots 
even more than you would the rest of your skin because that's a, where a lot of, for example, if I ever use a new edge control that kind of doesn't agree with my skin, I'll get like a ring of pimples, like allergic bites around where I did my edges. Super important to just clean it off so that you can minimize damage and just, you know, keep that part of your skin clear as well. So we're definitely gonna get into my edges and mess them up. But yeah, let's start with step one. Clean your face off with the initial cleaner, which is your makeup wipe. Yo, I feel like everybody knows this because I see people taking pictures on Instagram like this where like their ring light is facing them. I'm sorry for my appearance right now. <laughs> where their ring light is facing them, but like the camera is facing them. Yo, dear. <laughs> okay, skincare. Take your makeup wipe. Take a new makeup wipe. By the way, please make sure you're not doing what I just did and wasting makeup wipes. They're actually like not cheap. So yeah, we're gonna go in and we're gonna take off our makeup. I wasn't wearing too much today. It's mostly just like contour products to sculpt one's face. Once again, you can initially get into those edges. We're definitely gonna go over them with the like regular cleanser. But yeah, make sure you're getting in there. Yeah, like heavily. Uh -huh. This does not have to be perfect. Remember that it is an initial cleanse. It is called that for a reason. I actually just named it that. Honestly, it has a ring to it and I think it should be a thing. Maybe it is. Let me not claim authorization rights. And now y'all have the privilege of watching me take off my lashes. I reverted back to wearing baby lashes. I don't know why, but a year ago, me would have been like, who is she? So yeah, as you can see, like it looks like I took off my makeup, but we're gonna get into this actual cleanser. Or we're gonna see how much gunk is still left on your face, even if you just use a makeup wipe. So keep this in mind. Let's get into it. Okie dokie. So you're gonna go ahead and you're going to Wet your hands just slightly. It doesn't need to be like anything major. Get your face wet, just so that, I don't know, I feel like I'm saying a lot of things in this video, especially the second part, as though they're fact, but they're really just what I do. <laughs> so, take a generous amount, a very generous. Make sure you make sure to get, make sure you make sure, to get in the crevices of like your skin. You will be disgusted with how much makeup, dirt, product hides in your crevices. Make sure to get behind your ears. Do clean your ears separately, by the way. No shade, just information. As you can see, the lather is getting a tiny bit dirty. That is because we still had a generous amount of well dirt in our skin that the makeup wipes just aren't gonna get out unless you're using a whole bunch and as I said earlier they are expensive be careful around your eyes go in a circular motion helps us not age we like not aging and this is how you're gonna look and you're gonna go ahead and you're going to dunk yourself I don't really know if this counts as a skincare essential, but <laughs> the most essential product to me personally. I'm even going to link this bad boy. I actually just went to get it to come back so that my lips were not atrocious for the rest of the video. And our skin is still looking ashy, so we're going to get into our toner. So this one I specifically love also, not just because it's a great company, but also because it's just an easy thing to use. Cover your eyes, spray away. It's like no. <laughs> Maybe. It does smell good though. <laughs> um, honestly, I don't really do much to the toner. Just kind of let it you know, dry off. My eyebrows look crazy. It's gonna have to be a different tutorial. But yeah. Let's 
last step. A moment of silence and recognition. All right, let me get started. It's ridiculous. Um, we're gonna moisturize. So, if it wasn't already noticed, I only moisturized one half of my face. Cause I want y'all to see. This is a side that's not moisturized. Remember those bumps I was talking to y'all about when it comes to like eating things you're not supposed to? Yes, my skin is telling on me. It's just a little bit of just not okayness up there. It's time to find a new edge control cream. If y'all have suggestions, leave them below, but to the better side. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? It's the highlight glow without having highlight on for me. I... Anyway, we're gonna finish the other side so we can be evenly blessed. And just like we cleanse our neck, we're also gonna moisturize because anybody who does certain types of makeup looks or has an, a little bit of an uneven skin tone knows that it's important, it's imperative to blend your, um, <laughs> to blend your face with your neck. So just like we're cleansing everywhere else, cleanse your neck. All right, y'all, we are done. It's giving skin, it's giving clear, and most importantly, well to me, it's giving moisturized. So, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Not me eating extra Vaseline. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for being here. I do apologize for my slight absence. No excuses, it's just an apology. <laughs> but I hope to see you guys in my next video very shortly. Thank you for being here. If you guys have any suggestions for me to try, any types of videos that y'all want to see, I am hitting you guys with a makeup tutorial soon, so do not fear. Um, for those of you that requested under previous videos, I am getting to that. I am also looking at older suggestions, but if you have more, I would love to hear.